Hi everyone, my name is Chistakhvalov Mikhail. I am a creator of the Unreal Engine 5 course in Architech School. In this video, I will show the process of creating these beautiful pictures in Unreal Engine 5. I turn on the program and create a new project. I chose to create a game project with a first-person perspective, but this is not essential, and you can create a blank project. Now we create a new empty level. I start creating the island. I do it with the help of the landscape tool. I specify the size 16 by 16 and I also put a tick next to the line include editing layers. This will be necessary when using a tool to create water. I will place several objects to create the atmosphere. Directional light, sky light, sky atmosphere, exponential high fall. For convenience, I sort items by folder. I will start creating the landscape and use the Sculpt tool. With the Shift key pressed, the Sculptor acts in the opposite direction. I create general outlines, raise the surface and form mountains. Now it may not look very beautiful, but in the beginning it is important to create a common view of the island. In this process, it's good to have a sketch or reference to guide it and move on as planned. I used the smooth tool together with the sculpt to smooth out the results. First, we have poured large mountains of the earth. Then, we will use the tool erosion to create a more natural kind of surface. It turns out not bad, the mountains begin to look more natural. After using the erosion tool, I will edit the surface with the smooth tool making the result a bit smoother. I will begin to create a water surface. I will do it with the help of the water tool. It is necessary to include it in the plugins to use it. After that, you must reboot the program. I am adding the element Water Body Ocean. I then use the control points to define the island boundary. Points can be copied with the ALT key pressed. Now I adjust the height of the water surface and change some settings. In the settings I set the depth and also with the help of the curve, I set the profile of the surface underwater. This tool has a lot of settings and I choose the optimal parameters by the method of selection. This tool is flexible enough and allows you to create a diverse coastline. Now it's time to assign the material to the surface. It looks like this. Here is a map that adds spots to the surface, so the texture looks more diverse. Here I have four textures. Texture for the ground, two textures for the sand and also for the surface and the water. The corresponding normal maps are also applied. Now we add surface material to our landscape. In the paint section of the landscape tool, there are now four materials that can be used to draw on the surface of the landscape. I've created an instance for the material. With its help, I can quickly make changes to the settings. By changing the settings a bit, I got the right result. After the material was used, the landscape became more visible underwater. I will edit it a bit, so it looks more natural. I will now start painting the surface. I will first assign the first basic material and then I will add additional materials. The mountain surface will be painted with earth material and along the coastline there will be sand material, we will make a beach there. 
I leave a small strip of dark material along the water, it's wet sand. I will make a little variety by adding another sand material, so it will look more natural. I will return to the settings of the environment. I'm going to put a tick on the directional light, atmosphere sunlight, so the sky will appear. I will also edit the mist settings. Now I want to make clouds. I will add an object to the Elemetric cloud. The cloud settings are from the last project. They look pretty good. This is what the cloud material settings look like. Now I will show you what my water settings are. Here I have the wavelength size, the amplitude, the angle of movement and the range of drawing. These parameters are selected experimentally. Now let's see how I have the water material set up. It has these settings. I will apply it to the surface. I will adjust the parameters of the sky, make it more saturated. Afterwards, you will have to return to the color settings more than once. So the basic settings of the environment are complete. I will now move on to the creation of vegetation. I will open the foliage tool and add to it the plants I need. I will set the appropriate parameters for the plants and place them in the places I want. I constantly look at the referent to understand where the plants should be. I will plant shrubs on the mountains. I turned off the optimization of plants at the common line with the help of LUTs. It lost the video card, but thanks to this, plants look to be of high quality at any distance. Now we'll plant palms. I will add them to the foliage setting. I'm going to plant them tight enough, so I can see into the background. A little further on there will be the same palms, but larger and less dense. In the foreground add drums before the palms, it will look more natural. I will plant grass and other fine vegetation in front of the bushes. Ferns turned out to be too much, so I will remove them with the help of the tool eraser. To remove only the fern, I will take off the plant I need. The main vegetation is ready, looks good. Now I will be sitting palm trees in the foreground. I'm going to make more elaborate compositions out of plants, where I'm going to have cameras. I will use the foliage tool to plant palms elsewhere. I will select suitable parameters and plant it in the places I want. After seeding the bulk of the plants, I will manually edit some of them. Constantly evaluate the location of plants from different sides. I'm trying to make it look good. 
Now I'm going to make a sailboat. It's going to brighten my composition a bit. I'll add a little decorative elements to the composition, fallen coconuts and stones. I constantly adjust the materials of the objects to match their color well with the environment. I will add a little detail to the seabed. Now it's time to find some good angles and put up the cameras. Once the angle is found, you can experiment with the location of the sun. With the hotkeys Ctrl L it is very convenient to do. Adjusting the position of the sun is an interesting process, it can take a lot of time. Just a few more compositional touches to it and the great shot is ready. I will now edit the color settings. The color edit tool will help with the color correction. That's it, the composition is ready. I think it's perfect. All you have to do is render the pictures. Thanks for watching.